Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Cartoon mod. Last time around, we were spiffing old good time, and uh, Herbert Kishner took Cairo. Very good indeed. Since then, rather interestingly enough, I guess it, he decided that, uh, whoever made the mod anyways, decided that uh, rebel troops, uh, when spawned in, would actually only constitute a single general, and you would not be able to fight them. And as you can see, we've had quite a few in <laughs> insurrections. We have had four of them. Um, I was quite surprised when they actually didn't amount to anything. Um, and so... We can actually leave Cairo, and I'm pretty sure I can even uh, even start taxing the region uh, because the uh, the enemy is seemingly or the populace don't do anything because they just they just here and for some reason they seem to be Austrian, Austro-Hungarian. Right. Anyways, um, last time we of course took Cairo, which was a great victory. Uh, we took this place. And then Wolsey actually marched off and took this place, and now he's laying siege to this place. They've all got strange names, like Hakaba Huga de Bing Bong, uh, and such names. And so I'm trying not as much as possible uh, to say them. There's a few, of course, I can name, such as Alexandria, and that's pretty standard. Cairo and Khartoum, because, well, it sounds like Khartoum. Um... So we've got a number of Mahdist armies that have been formed. This one, not recently formed, but for some reason they're standing off there, standing, looking into the desert for some reason, very strange. We've got another small force gathering here, and we've got quite a large force over here. So I'm actually planning on taking Kitchener from Cairo to here to destroy this force, which is quite substantial compared to the rest ones. I believe that, uh, what's his face, uh, Chinese Gordon can deal with the guys down in the Sudan all on his own. But first, we need to have Wolsey complete and take this place of Manchurum Ding Dong. Yes, exactly. Uh, so they've got some uh, Yahida warriors. These actually have rifles, interestingly. And then some melee troops and some cavalry. 2,000 enemies versus his force of 1,500. Should do rather nicely, so let's go straight into it, shall we? Right, and so here we are outside the town. We've got Wolsey and his bodyguard right here. And the plan is to advance uh, with these Sudanese fellas straight into town. Uh, we've got some cavalry over there. Now, interestingly enough, um, the normal units, or the units you start off with, are set to the normal parameters. So, a say, an infantry unit is 120, and, uh, yeah, let's see, normal cavalry units is about 45, uh, roughly, as you saw with the other armies I've had. But the units I've recruited, because I've actually set the settings to ultra, uh, you can see that this is a normal Sudanese fellow that I start off with, I start the campaign with. This is one that I've recently recruited, which has 40 more men, so it has 160. So we'll be seeing more of those, and so the the scale of battles will <laughs> will increase exponentially as uh, the old units gets destroyed and we do like stuff great stuff big juicy lots of soldiers right I don't know why I said it like uh, right anyways we've got <laughs> we've got our British troops over here we've got two Royal Highlander regiment and then we've got one 42nd foot infantry nice Right, let's go ahead and start the battle and bring up the command console. It looks like the enemy is actually advancing towards us. And we have a bit of walls and stuff. So what we'll do is we'll... Oh, I got I selected the camels as well. I didn't intend for that. We're going to get the units to... You know what? 
The enemy is closing quickly. So we'll run up to the walls. The camel troops will move over to the side. General will move up on their hill. And these men are set to walk and march towards the village. And then we have a big Lanza unit over here. Which will take on the Mahdi's Anzas. The camel troop. It's 120. So their units have increased as well. From 90, which is the normal or what we start off with. And now there's 120 of them. But here comes a very sizable cavalry unit. Riding forth. Ready to attack. And we're going to gain some ground and open fire upon them. Yeah, the, the camels will have no chance against our men. At the same time, on this side... Oh, these guys are actually firing into the wall. Why don't you... Let's see, can we actually get you some of these units to actually... To attach themselves to the wall. I guess, th you know what, we'll put these guys as in reserves behind. And then... Let's see. No, the Br the British will stand as they are. The British will stand as they are. Oh, the enemy is right over there. Why don't you deploy here then? And there's some firing through the town. Let's see. Right. Why don't... We've got a large contingent of enemy warriors here. That we want to advance on and try to flank. So we'll get these two units to come into town. This one to march towards the town hall. And then the cavalry on this side. Which managed to defeat... Oh! They actually lost some people. So I guess the camel riders actually shot back. I didn't think they would. We're going to give these guys the order. To try and come around. Holy shit. This is a lot of enemies right here. Um, we're going to see about coming around the village to be able to attack them. Oh, the enemy is moving forwards now. Ready, men! Oh, are they charging? Be quiet now, will you? A good <laughs> Who are you telling Lots to hold line. quiet? Yes, sir. quiet now, Form you? immediately. The and the smaller unit you will march you in and the claim the town hall. It's a great opportunity to fire from uh, that location. And then I think because these guys, they're not really moving. And the superior firepower of the British infantry, I think we can rather quickly... Pick up the bayonet and help Williams. Oh! And put your tunic on! And put your tunic on! God damn it! Put your tunic on! Right, they're, they're moving. We're going to move up here. We're going to put our tunics on. And we're going to shoot them down. So that, that the, uh, the town hall is ours. The Sudanese fellas have taken it. And uh, the enemy is retreating. At the same time, my British forces are moving up on the flank. Ready to attack the enemy. I'm going to hold fire until uh, the moment which everyone is, when everyone is ready to fire at the same time. And then these Dragoon Guards will actually dismount the beasts, these camels. Let's move. So we're in three nice, neat rows. So just firing from the position. The thing is, it's a rather difficult position to fire from because there's another wall there that's protecting the enemy. Militia! Militia. I thought you were dragoons. The dragoons will deploy in skirmish formation next to the lines. Now move it, lads. We don't got all day.
they are able to... I mean, the most of the damage we're doing to these guys is the flanking fire which put, we're, we're putting down right now. You know what? As I said, we don't gut all day. Let's open up fire with the main force. Now we'll see them fall. And I'll tell the dragoons to open fire as well. Now the enemy's open fire. Keep it up, lads. I do wish more of you would fire, though. You're very conservative with your fire. You don't need to be this conservative with your fire. The main part of the enemy force is just mar these warriors without any... Uh, oh, these guys, they're charging. The commander is still, is still there, he's still charging, but the, the unit is wavering. And they find themselves, oh, it's an ambush. There's a unit over there and there's a unit over there. Retreat, we are broken. Now we just need to deal with, well, this unit and then this big unit. So we've got the cavalry. The uh, Duke of Cambridge own, ready to take a position behind the enemy. Even though we have only had this rather s I would say small skirmish against these troops down here. You can see that we they're almost down to half ammo. We'll gain ground upon the enemy and the Sudanese fellows will um, gain ground as well and move up to the second wall. Forwards! Good lads. Are they moving? Looks like they're moving over here. Yes, I believe they are moving. Um, these were the ones with... Yeah, these guys have muskets. So what I want to do is I don't want to get too close. Or at least until we're able to properly support the units. I think we'll hold it as it is. The enemy will come in. They will take fire from the entrenched position over here. Oh, you know what? I think they're... I was planning on just holding them behind the wall, but I think it's actually better if they sit down behind it. Do it up. Given the fact that the wall is kind of comically small. And I think the... Uh, the British soldiers as well should probably f maybe even fall behind and join the Sudanese behind the wall. These two units definitely need to come up as the Sudanese are pushing forwards. Oh, the Sudanese here are out of ammo. Shit. These two units are out of ammo. You need to fall back. Unless they want to be destroyed. These two are moving forwards though. The cavalry needs to bypass this unit. And instead go for these guys. The main unit. Oh, we've got a unit of Mahdi's warriors actually coming into the flank here. The Dragoon guards will retire. Retire to the camels. Before the unit is destroyed. The main attack has been heavy, heavily blunted, but they're pushing forwards. The problem really we have is uh, we're running out of ammo way too quickly. R get back on your camels, Dragoon Guards. The Scotsman, under pressure, needs to form square as the uh, Mahdi warriors are way too close. The Duke, the Duke's men have arrived. And they are opening fire. Most of the Sudanese, or at least the ones in the front, in front line, 
are out of ammo. It needs to pull back. Same with these men over here. Oh, the cavalry is taking a heavy hit toll as the enemy is now opening fire directly on them. The main line is secure for now. But as we can see, they're running out of ammo rapidly. And so I'm sending them forward to gain ground. Yes, Camel riders. They will move in on the flank ready to shoot these warriors over here. Heavy fighting going on over here. We're going to have to call a, a charge here. So I'm going to get the the the, the, um, the Duke of Cambridge Jones to come in and be ready to hit this unit. And at the, roughly at the same time, these brave fellows will conduct a bayonet charge. At the same time as the cavalry is coming in, firing at the enemy through the rear. And that is exactly what was needed. And the enemy is broken. And for my last trick, I think we're going to go ahead and charge this one head on. Damn, we really need somehow to... I mean, if there was a technology or something, I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, I guess it's a, a balancing act. The fact that uh, we have um, lower amount of ammo. Or maybe lo not, maybe lower. Oh. Charge! Not maybe lower, but... We do not have a lot of ammo. Comparatively. Fall back. They uh, killed off quite a lot of them. At least a hundred of them, but uh, the Lancers as well lost quite a few men. Can I get the camel? Yeah, the camel riders are opening fire. Get on this side of the wall. And then we're going to see these two. One of these has ammo. This one. Oh, the enemy gave way and we are now victorious. The town is secure. End battle. Heroic victory. I wouldn't expect anything less for His Majesty's soldiers. Right, and so here we have the statistics of the battle. As we can see, we lost about 300 men while the enemy lost 2,000. Uh, the highest killers on our side were the cavalry, uh, as might one might expect with over almost 400 kills. 377. As right. an alternative to a straightforward occupation, oh, did I not turn you off? Oh, yeah, it resets every time you start the bloody mod, doesn't it? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and repair this. One thing is um, the economics of this campaign. Right now, I'm actually making some because this province is not that unhappy. How come? Uh, huh. For some reason, anyways, but um, mo before this, I was more or less making zero money. Anyways, I'm going to prepare the attack on this place, as I find that, that this force is best used attacking uh, this place of Sh Saga Saga Sag Azig. Wait, it's actually called Saga Zig. Sag Azig. Saga Zig or Sh Sh Shakira. Right, I'm going to prepare an attack on that. And there we are for the second attack. So, the problem was that we couldn't get all the troops up in time. So what we'll have is we'll have Kitchener and his cavalry, two cavalry detachments. They're going to attack first. Then they're going to be 
reinforced by these three forces. We're actually going to push. I think we're going to push the artillery to be first, and then the British troops, and then the Sudanese fella is going to turn up. So we got three units of reinforcement, uh, which is going to be interesting. It's going to be an interesting fight because most of the enemy uh, force is is uh, made up of cavalry. So they could quickly swarm my my troops and destroy them before we're able to bring them all together. But it's going to be down to if the enemy is is uh, is fast enough to do that. Anyways, on to the battle. Right. And so here we are on the field of battle. We can see the town ahead of us. And if we bring up the map, we can kind of see the enemy's formations. They've put a lot of troops inside the actual town. Let's see if I can bring up the... Ah, my troops are already coming to onto the field. So I have my cannons moving into position. We've got Sudanese fellas and British troops coming up. Um, the enemy, as we can see, are advancing with a heavy cavalry formation coming out of the center of town. There's a lot of these Beja people um, or Beja, Beja people, not entirely sure. But there's there's a lot of enemies. They're not coming up um, or they're not attacking as fast as one might have thought given the fact that they would be able to uh, very quickly here outnumber us in the beginning. I'm not entirely sure I will be able to get the artillery any more forwards. Get that gun ready. And let's see, where do I have my infantry? So most of the infantry is actually coming all the way down here. Um, we do have the cavalry though, which is able to step in to save the cannon if necessary. But I think we really... Let's see, can I select all of you? And I'm going to tell you to run to your positions. Because I really need you here. Really darn quickly. So we started shelling the enemy position. The enemy is coming way too close for comfort towards the cavalry and Kitchener himself. The infantry are, is on its way. I'm going to tell them to deploy. Oh, the cavalry has opened, has started opening fire down upon the enemy. We'll see if they're able to hold out on their own for at least a good while to hold the flank until the infantry has arrived. Infantry. And you know what? I think at this point it's time to switch to canister. And uh, how about? get some barrage fire going. So the cavalry is holding on for now, but oh shit, the enemy is coming way too close to my cannons. Watch out so you don't shoot your own men. Oh, they're, they're already shattered actually. Oh! The, uh... The battle has commenced here. Enemy cavalry is riding all along the line, firing down onto our men. We need to form a square at the edge. Right, how's where's my cavalry? Uh, the the where are they? God damn it! My cannons are falling apart. No. No, they shot more or less everyone of the cannon. We still have the cannon train, if that counts for anything. Shit, the line. The square is kind of ish holding. I don't think it's gonna hold for long though, so we're gonna form this guy these guys into square as well. Cavalry on this side. It's coming under heavy attack. Kitchener is needed in the center of his line. The 1st Artillery Regiment of York and Lancaster needs to form square immediately. We've got Sudanese fellows. Uh, we'll deploy two to aid in the flank. And then these three to deal with the heavy, heavily battered flank 
looks like our cavalry is slowly being overrun here on the left side. Very heavy fighting on this side. Cavalry is retiring with only five, four people actually making it out of the battle. Oh, the enemy general. The enemy general was killed. I imagine it was actually this guy. It just got shot. As the smoke clears, how long was this battle? Six minutes. After six minutes and some very heavy fighting, the British army with their Egyptian allies stand victorious. And uh, we have about a few thousand Mahadists and the like slaughtered in front of our lines. There is one symbolic last resistance by these men. But they too are shattered by the overwhelming power of modern technology. And there we have it. The battle was won. And uh, the, um, the, um, what's it called? The way into town is, uh, no longer blocked and uh, we have secured yet another great victory and the m uh, looking at this the Mardis don't have a lot of strongholds left and so I'm pretty sure we have more or less secured victory against the Mahadi and his forces now it only comes to the fact that we also need to defeat the Ottoman Empire um, and hopefully I'll actually have money to be able to uh, to um, to produce a second army on Cyprus to send it into battle against the Ottomans but yeah I think we're gonna go ahead and end it right here so hopefully you guys enjoy the, this battle and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye